at my signal. Unleash hell. This movie moves around a little bit geographically. I mean, we take in at least half the Roman Empire. We go from Ger Germania, Germany, to Spain, and then to Morocco, and then to Rome. And what I wanted to do is, once, once we're in Morocco, I wanted it to be really tribal, dirty, gritty. I always wanted to use this one instrument for the, for the Moroccan sequence, it's called the duduk, which is thousands of years old. It's really an Armenian clarinet would be the easiest explanation. And there's one player that is amazing, um, a 72-year-old man called Jovan Gasparian. Of course, he lives in Armenia. And I kept thinking, I want to write for him. I want, I want this to be about him. And everybody kept saying, just give up. He lives in Armenia. Unless you go to Armenia, it's never going to happen. And I just sort of doggedly kept writing for this guy. And one day I got a phone call from a friend of mine, Michael Brook, who said, oh, you know, Jevan's going to be in Los Angeles. And it was just sort of, you know, I, I just kept writing because I knew, you know, like, like, if you build it, he will come. I just kept doing this. And, and it was great because he doesn't speak a word of English. Um, he is, you know, he's a god in his own country. He, he has his own vodka named after him. And if you drink enough of this vodka, um, you know, the, the, you know the, the, the ice will melt and his face is on the inside of the label. You'll actually get to see his face. And so our communication, of course, was drinking vodka until we could see his face and him, him playing like a god. Don't die. They'll feed you to the lions. They'll look more than we are. <laughs> <laughs> 